In this demonstration, we look at retaining resource pools when disabling VMware DRS clusters in the vSphere web client. So what we have here on our lab build, we have a lab cluster. Lab cluster has two ASXi hosts and I have a resource pool called test. Now resource pools are part of the DRS cluster functionality. So what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to disable DRS. So we'll edit the settings on our DRS cluster. On here, what we'll do is we'll just turn off the tick box for the turn on vSphere DRS and we'll select OK. Straight away, we get a pop-up saying that we have chosen to disable DRS. Doing this will remove all the resource pools in the cluster. Do I wish to save a snapshot? Yes, I do. Ask me to create a file. So we'll save the file on my desktop, file called lab cluster. And as we can see now, what we've done is we've disabled DRS and we've lost our resource pool. Now, one of the things I want is I want that resource pool back. So what we have the ability to do within vSphere version 6.5 is if I just come back to my cluster settings again, if I then turn the DRS cluster back on and select OK, that's now reconfigured. So what we're going to do at this point here is I'm going to right click on the cluster. I'm going to come down to the restore resource pool tree. I'm going to point it back at the snapshot I took and select open. And then what we'll do is we'll select the OK button. And as we can see, we get our resource pool back. And that's the end of this quick demonstration of retaining resource pools with vSphere version 6.5 when we disable a DRS cluster. Thank you.